Esports has emerged from the popularity of the gaming scene in the late 1990s to a cultural phenomenon, and it's thriving here in South Korea. Our Lee Yoon Hee tells us more about the esport journey. Esports is no longer just about playing or watching the games. It's about belonging to a community, celebrating shared passions, and embracing a new form of cultural expression. Established in 2018, Seoul's Esports Hall of Fame is the world's only venue dedicated to the history of esports, in particular the 20-year journey in South Korea. It is operated by the country's culture ministry and Korea Esports Association. We aim to boost student engagement in esports and establish standardized regulations for esports to sustain our leading global position. At the 2022 Asian Games, which took place last year, League of Legends was featured as an official medal sport for the first time, with South Korea clinching the gold. In addition to the South Korean team's impressive skills, the intense passion of fans was also notable. What cultural factors might contribute to this phenomenon? A professor of game studies says that in the late 1990s, as South Korea surged as a global IT powerhouse, the culture of PC bang or internet cafes for gaming became prevalent. However, he said there are other elements to the phenomenon driven by younger generations. A new trend called JOMO, or joy of missing out, is gaining traction beyond FOMO, which means fear of missing out. It's about focusing on what you enjoy rather than worrying about what others are doing. Esports is something understood among the younger generations. And of course there's Faker, the South Korean living legend of esports, inspiring fans worldwide. He was crowned the first ever inductee into the Hall of Legends, a recognition introduced by the developer of League of Legends, Riot Games, this year. A promotional hall in Seoul has turned into a faker temple, honoring his contribution to the esports scene. Here at the special tribute area, fans express their reverence for Lee Sang-yeok, also known as Faker. This worshipping zone shows the profound inspiration Faker ignites within his fans. Among women born in 1996, I love my wife the most and among men is Faker. I think Faker's unwavering consistency stands out the most. Regardless of the outcome of matches, Faker is known for his steadfast attitude to never giving up and unwavering focus on his gaming career. And such attributes serve as examples for the younger generations. As a longtime fan of Faker, I'm really interested in checking out the books he recommends. Something that was once simply considered only a game, then transitioned into a sport, and has now evolved into a cultural phenomenon. Ian Hee, Arirang News.